We're doing a lesson today of the seatbelts. Um, call me, call me. It's off of uh, the blue soundtrack. All right. So the first thing to note, uh, your guitar is going to have a capo on the third fret, and uh, the guitar is in standard tuning. And then with the third fret, uh, capo on the third fret, and your guitar should sound like this. It's going to be a G, C. sharp or B flat. It's going to be D and a high G. All right, so as usual, we're going to jump into the song, uh, which is a 12 string originally recorded. We're just playing it on a 12 uh, on a six string today. So here we go.
Okay, that was a bit lengthy uh, for just a playthrough, but that are, those are pretty much uh, most of the chords in the song. Um, <clears throat> so to start, you're basically playing what a G would be. Uh, <clears throat> of course, this is off the third fret. Uh, capo, a G position, same thing. But you're not uh, you're not going to play this note here, which is the uh, the f I think it's the third. That's the third. So you're just basically playing the sixth fret mute, and then you're playing an uh, open fret, an open string, another open string. This is all going to be from the capo. So this is the third fret. B and the E string. So I'm basically hammering on from the f from the first fret to the third fret. Oh, and, and to start the song off, it's a hammer on from the um, first fret to the third fret on the low string. So start it off. This guitar is a real pain in the butt because the, the neck is so uh, clubby. But uh, you're going to play basically this is a D sharp major chord. First fret, you're borrowing the entire first fret uh, from the capo, and you're going to play the third fret on the, the uh, D string, the G string, and the B string. If not, just play it like that. But if you can, get a hammer on it. So that's a hammer on from the first fret to the third fret yet again. This is um, some sort of, it's like a C, it's kind of like a C chord, but you're scooting it down to fourth fret from the capo. That's going to be, um, it's going to be the fourth fret, uh, excuse me, not fourth fret, the third fret, the second fret, open string, third fret, and third fret on the B and E string. Again, that's a hammer on from the first to the third fret on the B string. This is basically you're playing like a like an F major chord. This is a G sharp major, but you're without the bass. The reason you're doing it without a bass, without a bar, is so when you play it like this, you can actually do a hammer on pull off uh, on uh, from a open string to the second fret. That's right there, you can't really do it. So, with that said, you're going to play all of the strings except the low one. So it's a hammer on from the open to the second. And it's kind of a pull off back from the second to the open. Okay, the next part of the song is um, rather, e it's easier, so we're going to play basically a G minor. Second fret on the A string and D string. So you're gonna play it all. Uh, you're gonna play it just like that first, and then um, towards the end of. The
of the bar measure, you're gonna you're gonna fret the third fret on the high E string. Second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret, again from the capo, second fret again on the G string, uh, third fret on the B, and a third again on the high E. Now towards the end of that measure, you're going to open up the chord. To um, just this open, this high E, you're gonna make it open. The rest of the chord's gonna be the same. What I do is I just kind of, because I'm boring the uh, second fret, I just kind of lift up the very, like the midsection of my finger, I just kind of lift it up a little so you can uh, hear that high E ringing. And then that way, you just slide that whole thing over uh, three frets. Uh, that's gonna be the and then your last chord is going to be a uh, C, some sort of C chord. It's basically like the E minor. finger and you're just playing the B string open. So it should sound like, um, where was I at? That's going to be an F, F major. So that's uh, open, open D. It's going to be the second fret on the G, third fret on the B, second fret on the high E. third fret to the second fret on the high E. You don't have to. I'm actually not even sure if I hear it on the record. should sound like now normally from this chord the first time you would go back into the verse but the second time around when you go um, Excuse me, second time around you go. Now it's basically a C again, but you're playing it a little differently because you want to 
compensate for um, the fact that there's actually not a guitar in the recorded song. I'm just kind of compensating for that. So you're playing a little bit of what the bass and the synthesizer in the background of the original song are playing. This, these high notes. second fret from the D string down and then I am borrowing with my pinky the uh, let's see it's gonna be three four and five the fifth fret with my pinky the last two strings <laughs> trying to play, I'm holding down the 5th frets, the 2 5th frets the whole time, um, playing, muting, muting the next string down, uh, now I am, I'm still playing the 2nd fret on uh, the G string. This one I actually played the D string open, uh, and then I'm just moving my, the bass note third fret to the first fret. Same thing, this time I'm, I'm muting the A string, playing the first fret on the low string, and still playing a D open D. Anyways, guys, I appreciate uh, you watching, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks.